But for most of us, we have that one exam that decides the fate of our life. Is the one exam that gives our dream job, the dream university. But despite knowing that, why can't we more disciplined and driven towards cracking the exam? In my bachelor's, I had a friend. Let's call him John Cena. Unlike real John Cena, where you can't see me. Oh, believe me, we all can see you. My friend John Cena, even while semester exams are going on, we can see him all day in bed scrolling, and he graduated jobless. No surprise. I too graduated jobless. That tragedy I'll share some other day. You poor thing. But after graduation, like most engineers, we decided to prepare for government exam. So me, John Cena, along with some couple of friends, we went to Hyderabad prepare for GATE. From start of coaching in May, I at least study every day, revise topics discussed in the class. But John Cena, after investing one lakh for coaching and seven k monthly expenses for stay, he isn't studying except attending classes. Days passed, months passed. After months, in January, which is around one month before the exam, that's when I had first seen John Cena. started putting some serious efforts now this is chronic procrastination now the truth is whether you are a chronic procrastinator or occasional procrastinator the solution is same and surprisingly simple let's see How in solving the procrastination puzzle book, author Tim Cycle mentions we procrastinate because a task in front creates certain negative feelings. So to feel good, we procrastinate. Negative feeling? What are we talking about? But before checking out, in the later parts of the video, we will see Goggins' method, which is an instant solution to make ourselves study. when we have zero motivation but we don't just want to have a short term solution we want to stay consistent till achieving our goals that's why we will see two long term solutions for two big problems for long term consistency for checking it out if you are someone who is looking for good quality coaching for gate or esc or affordable cost i would recommend gatewala as it is one of the most loved among students and their faculties are some of the best in the country and due to new year there is a limited time huge discount on all of their courses do enroll now additionally you can use code rogu500 for 500 rupees off batch details super the 500 gate 2025 batch english 1500 gate is series 2025 99 uppsc ae prelims batch 2999 parakram gate 2026 batch b english english 7200 jesus gate 27 batch b english 9400 parakram 2026 esc plus gate plus psu 15999 stress 2027 esc plus gate batch c 16999 parakram gate 2026 plus psu plus space operation cs and it 15999 stress gate 2027 plus psu plus space operation batch c 19800 now all Also experience infinite learning from Batch Infinity from PWO, offering Gate Kazana, PVQ books and more. Don't miss it out. Now let's come back to the video. It's at least six qualities in a task that will cause negative feeling. First, boring. Let's take Instagram. Instagram is engaging. Algorithms work in such a way that it will recommend content which you will most likely watch, enjoy, and react. While studying is boring. Second, unstructured. How many of you can relate to this? But before the start of study, we have vague idea of studying many things, but we didn't plan what to do, in what order to do, and when to do. and that causes confusion and negative feeling third lack of personal meaning let's assume we are preparing for upsc and if in some interview a upsc topper says my je preparation gives a good edge in problem solving it is true of course but just because that we can't study je right that is not a meaningful task for us four lack of intrinsic reward the more a task is rewarding the more our brain loves to do social media gives instant dopamine hits dopamine is a chemical that get released in our brain when we do something we like like when we had sex Are having favorite piece of food, but studying doesn't give it immediately. Why? Difficulty level. Let's say we plan to study an entire subject in one day. Most likely, for most of us, that task is very difficult. So we most likely procrastinate. Six frustration. One thing that recently happened with me is I bought Mivi AirPods and I had a problem in it. and i want to claim warranty but for claiming it i have to go to their website and to upload the invoice which i had to download from amazon that's okay but i also had to record a video explaining the problem with the ear and i had to send it to my mac and then i have to upload it this is frustrating so i keep procrastinating for more than a week generally it doesn't necessarily a task has to have all of these six qualities to make us procrastinate even one or two qualities is enough to make us procrastinate so our job is to identify what quality in a task that causes us procrastination and we have to simply turn it off now the question is 
How? First, handling boredom. In 2024 May, I been hospitalized and to recover from illness, it took me 30 days. And once I came back to IIT Madras, I had zero motivation to work on anything. So I took my flask filled with coffee, went to library and started studying. And I felt engagement towards the work. Another way I try to make my work more attractive is setting my desk little cool plus a coffee. It creates engagement and I like studying in an engagement because it gives that cinematic feel, you know. Second, handling unstructured. Simple, have a clear plan. Every day, make a to-do list of what you want to do, in what order you want to do and block time for when you are going to do. If you are getting started with planning, you can check out my simple notion template. It's in my telegram links below and in telegram group, you can access it anytime which is pinned in the top of the group. So just be aware of that. Third, Handling lack of personal meaning. For most of us, we know studying for GATE or UPC or JE is meaningful. So studying related to it, it won't cause any negativity. Yet to emphasize this more to our brain, try visualization technique. Every day when you wake up, just sit idle for two minutes. Visualize the life that you will get by cracking this job. Visualize the success. It increases the desire for the goal. Four lack of intrinsic rewards it's very simple you have to give a reward if you study for 15 minutes then reward yourself with 10 minutes of music or do something you like another way of giving rewards is concurrent rewards like i know one of my friend he goes for a run every day and i asked him how are you so consistent he says running plus music is a very satisfying feeling you have to be very creative here because when i do my chores i'm comfortable listening to music but often for studies what works for me is focused music. Be creative and come up with what works for you. Fifth, handling frustration. Studying sometimes is frustrating. Sometimes we study hard but we can't understand or we can't score in exams. In this case, get help. Like there is a popular rule called 15 minute rule which says if you have trouble understanding a concept, put effort for 15 minutes then go get help. Sixth, handling difficulty. The best strategy here is breaking the difficult task into many easy tasks and achieve one by one. Now one more medicine for procrastination and above all of this is deadline. So have a plan with clear realistic deadlines on daily, weekly and monthly basis. You will be amazed how much you had accomplished by the end of the next year. Now this is one side of the coin where we are not studying because studying is the cause of the problem. What if we are the reason we are not studying for our goals? For example, Let's assume a person named Rock. You can't see me when you playing peekaboo. You can't see me. You can't see me. Oh, believe me, we all can see you. Rock decided to prepare for gate exam. He relentlessly put efforts for one year, but unfortunately not able to crack it. He persevered and put efforts for one more year. Again, he failed. Now Rock is demotivated and he decides to quit. Now what to do? There is a popular motivation theory, the expectation theory, proposed by Victor Harald Broom in 1964, says that a person's motivation depends depends mainly on expectancy. For example, let's say you went to attend classes in your coaching institute and if I come and give a max challenge for 10,000 rupees, who will be the person who is most motivated to participate? Definitely it will be the person who is good at max, right? Because he knows if he works, he will win for sure. The idea behind this theory is knowing that your hard work will guarantee to give you results is a powerful motivator and if you lose that confidence, you will lose motivation. So a practical solution is if you are someone who thinks you are not good in studies, Remember, you are your system. James Clear famously said in Atomic Habits, forget about goals, focus on systems instead. For example, if you can't able to understand concepts, it's not your fault. The problem is in the study system of yours. Now, in my research, I discovered there are two different kinds of doubt. There's self-doubt and idea doubt. Self-doubt is paralyzing. It leads you to free. But idea doubt is energized. It motivates you to test, to experiment, to refine. Barbara Oakley famously said, intention to learning is useful only if you have the right learning strategy. If you can't able to memorize, learn how to memorize effectively. If you can't able to solve problems, problems faster, learn how to increase problem solving skills. So fundamentally set the systems right. Now we had seen how to make oneself study when the task is the problem or when we are the problem. But but what if these two reasons are not for you? Like few days back, I went into your brain red. Or you might be like, Raghu, I don't know what is going on in my life. I need an immediate short term solution. Then welcome to Cogging solution. It is a solution to make yourself study right now, no matter what is your problem. Now, how many of you know David Gog? I have a 17 year old son. A year ago, he was suicidal and in a really bad place. 
you saved his life. Described as one of the toughest men on the planet. He's just an absolute savage. He's the only man in history to complete elite training as a Navy SEAL. Army Ranger. And the Air Force Tactical Air Controller Training. He's a retired United States Navy SEAL. Had completed 60 ultra marathons, triathlons and ultra triathlons. In 2013, he made a Guinness record of making 4030 pull up in a row. He is literally a man with insane willpower. Now, what is willpower? But if we get on the treadmill together, <laughs> right? There's two things. You're getting off first, yeah. or I'm going to die. Willpower is the capacity to override feelings or impulse and perform the action. Let's say you are taking pull up. After some time, you will experience pain and your mind tells you to stop. Despite that, if you continue to take pull ups with the pain, that means that means your willpower is in action. And that is the foundation of our Goggins method. And the problem is, willpower is like a glass of water. It depletes the more you use it. So I created an evidence-based five-step method which will make your study session from getting started to studying for 10 to 12 hours or more. Step 1. Goggins yourself to study tape. Use your willpower. Just override your thoughts. Turn that motivational BGM on and force yourself to get back to the desk. Step 2. Decide on one specific task. Now we came to desk for study. Now what to study? As we have seen from research by Tim Cycle, lack of clarity of what to do leads to procrastination. So write down all the things you think you want to study around that one thing you want to study right now. Step 3. Clear up your study space. Cluttered study space is unattractive. Follow these 4 steps to to make your study space more attractive. 1. Throw everything out that isn't supposed to be in your desk or in your study room. Step 2. Organize. Keep everything off your desk and table in its desired space. Step 3. Add glamour. Place some books. Place a pen stand. Keep a study light. Try to make it look cool. Step 4. Weep. Simply clean your desk and room. Now let's come out of the cleaning workspace steps and focus on steps of Gauguin's method. Step 4. Use low effort hack. Now that one task we decide to study, if that is bigger difficult, the more chances it leads to procrastination. So break it into easy tasks and do one by one. Before fifth step, a quick bonus step. Gamify your studies. Did you remember in childhood when we play GTA, we never get disappointed and the mission gets failed. Rather, we are motivated to try the mission again, provided we avoid the mistake we make in the first attempt. The same approach in studies we should do. Whenever we come across challenges, assume that we are playing a real life video game. Whenever the mission fails, play the mission again, provided avoid the mistake that you made. That mindset scientifically works. It is called Super Mario Effect proved and proposed by ex-NASA scientist and science YouTuber Mark Rober. So gamify it. Step 5. Give rewards. After every 25 minutes or 50 minutes of focus study, take a break of 5 or 10 minutes and do something you like. Now technically this video shouldn't end here because it's not just about making yourself to study for one day. We have to be consistent throughout the preparation and scientifically the worst possible way to be consistent is to rely on willpower or motivation because willpower is a limited resource and motivation gets affected because of the mood, circumstance, the life happenings and many other factors. So the effective strategy is to build an effective productivity system that shields all the causes and makes a study hard. And if you are interested in building a science-based daily routine to maximize your productivity, do check out this video. Stay driven. Bye-bye. But I see the light from far away, it's down the line, maybe I should not give up.